you say good day, and how you go, and just say good day, good day, good day, and you'll be right. Good day. Welcome to the bush shed. I'm doing a project. I'm gonna make one of these. I've already made one, as you can see. Yes, I made this. Hey, but uh, if I did, I did this one, all right. Anyway, beautiful thing. Actually, turned out really, really nice. As you can see, I've got a couple of angles here. I go dead straight, up and down on this side. Now the top, look at that. Big enough for your ass. So we call it A R S E here in Australia. It's not a head, sort of ass. <laughs> but it's big enough for you. Sit on that. It's pretty bloody big, to be honest. Lovely thing. Turned out really, really good. We're going to be doing this. All the measurements and so forth, I'll put it down in the bottom of the uh, in the description. After you like, subscribe, and comment. And um, I'll let you build that, hey? This is my design. Literally. Um, I was sent a photo of what's called a milking stool, which is around about that high. And I thought, seriously, what am I going to do with that? You're going to sit on that and your legs are going to be up around your bloody chin. So I thought I'd 600 high on the top here, plus the top on that. All right, making it out of cedar. Beautiful timber. Look at that lovely stuff. Hey, those legs are that. All right, look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Turned out lovely. It's light, it's a hard timber from an old heritage home. Over 150 years old here in Australia. All right, had to demolish it unfortunately, and I've got a lot of the old cedar out of it. Fantastic, love it. All right, I'm gonna put this down on the ground, <clears throat> and I'm gonna get a few measurements on it, and uh, we'll go from there. Because I, I, this is a design. I don't measure things. I just build the bloody thing. I suppose I should measure something up, eh? All right, let's get on to it, eh? Now, as you can see, I've already pre-cut these timbers. I think if I remember 40, yep, by 30, yep. So they're 40 by 30. I've already cut that angle there, which is approximately eight degrees. And then um, I'm gonna cut the uh, stays in between here. We'll go from that. Bitty. Bitty, all right. So I need to cut the tops off so that they're gonna be basically level. All right, so. You want a level top to that, yeah? Oh, I've got a visitor. Probably saw her come in. Hello. Hello, Hello buddy. It's called my shed cat. It's Pup. Well, her name's Pumpkin, but, uh,. <laughs> I believe animals name themselves. They really do. In the actions they do and so forth. Anyway, she ends up being a little poop. Little shit. So, you call her poop. You go, poop, 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 poop. There she goes. Look at that. She turns around. <laughs> she comes running. Her name's poop. Even though it's called, she's got another name, pumpkin and munchkin. But anyway, she's my little girl. <laughs> she comes in and visits now and again. Anyway, let's get on the work. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to sand all this down before I put it together. Trust me, I didn't do it for that one. That was a pain in the backside. <laughs> anyway, you want to go here and get out of the lamp. Oh, here we go. Now what we've got to do now, so we've got to measure in the, uh, well, where we're going to put the screw holes. <sighs> you get your bevel, and you get your angle of your dangle. <laughs> Some brood, I know. <laughs> right, so you've got your angle of your dangle. Beautiful, not a problem at all. So now that, that angle there, when you put it on here, it's going to be dead on straight into that piece of timber. All right. I'm using the Bushman's ruler, which is usually pretty good. And what I do as well is I mark them. So this is two, and that's two. This is one, and that's one. Always mark them. That way you know they're going to go together in the right bloody direction. 
trust me, when I first started doing this, I stuffed up. Alright, I've got to drill <laughs> those holes. That's fine. It's not a problem drilling the holes. I've got to get them at an angle. It's all good. I'll sort it out. Measurement, depth, about six mil, about quarter inch. I usually go about the depth of that cutter, and she's bright. Now how big the diameter of that recess hole is, it's 12 mil, okay? It all depends on the screws that you're using, all right? Me, I use what are called washer head screws. I prefer those. Now the washer head screws, in America, they're called pocket hole screws, all right? In Australia, it is called washer head screws. No countersink on them. I prefer not to countersink because then it'll tear out. These are washers already on, on the screw head. All right, so when you drill down, it pulls in. That's what they're for. That, so they've got a washer on the end. They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And they pull the timber together so, so hard. Now, how am I going to drill these angles? That's quite easy. Basically that. Get your square. You get that. 90 degree, drop it in. Bob's your ankle, Penny's your arm. And you just drill straight. Beauty. Awesomeness. Look at that. Bloody beautiful. Excellent. What do you think? I think it's brilliant. All right. after lunch feel a little bit better after having a feed and a cuppa so let's get the other other part of the legs done and like I said I'll uh, put all the information of sizes and all that kind of stuff in the comments below so make sure you like subscribe and comment mm. get it done boys and girls all right <clears throat> let's get the rest of it done eh? so I'm writing down all the measurements for you right Little trick I learned from a friend of mine. The clamps on the end keeps it up straight. Ripper. Twice measure. Cut once. Nearly done. Got to get the braces on and move your right. Beauty. There you go. You can see me now. Well, let's get on with it. Believe me when I say, I'm happy to see it like that. Look at that! Hey! Come on! You gotta be happy with that. I haven't disappeared yet! The brain may have gone, but I don't know about the body. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm a messy worker, but as long as you get everything out of the way and don't trip over it, it should be fine. All right, let's get that one there. Let's get the other one up. Have a compare. What do you think? That's not half bad. That's not half bad at all. All right. New TV screen. There you go. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ben Hollist, and welcome to TV. People my age will remember that back here in Australia. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get on to it. Let's get the top onto this, eh? I've got a top already cut out. Um, the old table saw, the new one, oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. That cut this top out, and I was able to use one half for this, and I've got the other half for this, so it makes them exactly the same. Right, let's get on with it. Measuring stick. When I put things down, I forget. I, I must have Alzheimer's. I reckon, I reckon that's how I'm going to go. Alzheimer's. I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Bloody river! Look at that! Look at a stool! I don't know about you. I think I should sit down. 
Oh. That's hard work, that. <laughs> well, I'll sand it down, bring it back, and um, we'll go from there. Oh, hey, well, I'm bloody stoked. Let's have a look at the two of them together first. Bloody what? Oh, oh, I'm extremely happy with that. Extremely happy. I will have to cut that off. That's a little bit wider, but the rest of it's pretty bloody good. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Beauty! Well, let's get some cutting and sanding and we'll be right. Look, I am your father. <laughs> now this is where sanding down the legs prior is easier. So that we only have to do is the top and get off the uh, the pencil marks. We're done. Let's rock on. There we go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, mums and dads, nans and pops. All we gotta do is lacquer it now. And we'll be done. So we just get stuck into that. There's my first project done, isn't it? On the bush shed. Let's get into it. Alright, so we've got everything we need. Just gotta give the old uh, uh, lacquer a bit of a stir. This thing here, you're wondering what that is, isn't it? Hey, hey? Well. It, let little Benny in it educate you for a second. Instead of all the shit getting in here, what you do, you put this in here, like that. Right. And that thing on the top, what you do is you do this, you wipe it off there, instead of going off the edge of the tin. There you go. There you go, a little bit of education for you. Colours turn out nice, doesn't it? Don't know about you. But I think she turned out bloody brilliant. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. Hey. And the legs turn out really well. And there's the top. Look at that. Look at that. Hey. And the underneath of it. You know, honestly, I'm happy. We're doing a good job today. So, for me and the stool, <laughs> I'd like to say good night. Take care. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll have all the measurements down the bottom there for you. All right, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching the bush shed. Hooroo! Isn't it great to be an Aussie whenever you're stuck for what to say? If you want to be dinky die, why don't you give it a try? Look them right in the eye and say good day. Good day, good day.